Hey, announcer guy here for Sean and Kevin, world travelers who occasionally go to places you haven't been. In this episode, the boys are in Jamaica. So settle in and welcome to Travel by Numbers. now yep hey we're uh, travel by numbers and we're finally here in Jamaica for a week in Montego Bay staying at the Lady Hamilton Palladium uh, we haven't traveled for a while and it's good to get back to the Caribbean and experiencing everything that this resort has to offer so if you haven't been to our channel before I'm Kevin this is Sean uh, we were actually at this resort uh, 13 years ago in 2011, but back then we weren't vlogging. So uh, we took an opportunity to come here again here in 2024. So uh, we're going to show you around. We're here for a week. Yeah, and there's a few things that have changed, and we also we'll also point that out as well about the differences from the, our first trip and our current stay. Um, so come along. So don't stop. Believing that we rise up to the system that we wise up until we stand in strong again. Don't stop believing that we rise up to the system and we wise up until we stand in strong again. Don't stop. Well, first in line at the buffet. What does that say about us? While you treat your eyes to all of the food choices available in the main buffet, I'll give you a little history on this five-star resort. In July 2008, after a promise to the late reggae superstar Bob Marley and years of construction, the Grand Palladium Jamaica Resort and Spa and the Grand Palladium Lady Hamilton Resort and Spa were inaugurated just 25 minutes from Montego Bay Airport. When we last visited in 2011, the Jamaica Resort side hadn't been completed, but now the expansive resort has been expanded, reaching a total of 1,800 rooms. In 2022 and throughout 2023, Grand Palladium Jamaica Resorts and Spa invested over 30 million US in renovation and refurbishment. We did notice some slight wear on the architecture, particularly with respect to layers of paint and in the continued use of outdated furniture, but it did not impact our enjoyment of the resort nor the room. With the exception of a couple of the a la carte restaurants, the staff, as always, were always attentive, pleasant, timely and helpful. It is our opinion that a la carte restaurant management is missing or not providing the kind of business oversight needed to run a successful restaurant. 
exceedingly long wait times for food or table clearing, missing items from an order, and the extended disappearance of staff are unacceptable, even with consideration to the chill, no worries atmosphere Jamaica provides as a whole. They have these covered walkways here so that you don't have to walk in the rain or the sunshine. And they have those little trolleys that'll take you around this resort. It's so huge and there's just no way some people can walk it. The big red chair. Hope it doesn't fall back on like the Graham Norton show. This is the children's playground area and pool. Lots of slides, lots to do here for the kids. This section is known as the premium experience. So only people that have paid for that have access here. The loungers are the same as they are anywhere else, but they give you this uh, sort of pillow thing, which helps save your neck. And just so you know where that's located, we're at the big pool. volleyball court. Conveniently, right beside a bar. And that striped building up ahead is a, a jerk hut, so you can get uh, jerk chicken there. They have uh, lifeguard stands here. Um, a lot of them, actually. There's one, two, three, four that I can see just on this beach alone. Uh, they're everywhere though, which is a good thing. Again, another beautiful calm and sunny morning with uh, hardly any clouds.
This is Sean's favorite pastime. Our building, which is building number 33, is located on this little bit of a point here. Just on the other, oh my gosh, here comes water. Uh, located just uh, behind these other buildings. Probably one of the furthest walks from the buffet and the restaurants, but um, I don't know, I think it's a little bit quieter out here. They did have a white party a couple of nights ago, uh, starting I think at 10 o'clock at night, so that was kind of loud for about an hour or so, but uh, I think it's worth staying in these buildings here, uh, despite the walk. Screaming kids, show I do not. <laughs> So the break wall looks like, uh, well, it reminds me of volcanic rock, but uh, could be just coral. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. So uh, not recommended if you only have bare feet, that's for sure, which we do. Here's a good idea of uh, what you're dealing with here. There's actually two break walls here, uh, which cut down on the wave height hitting the shoreline here. So this is the first one. And you can see a second one further out there. You can see the rocks sticking out of the ocean. So you can actually get around this break wall on either side of it because there's some swimming space between the break wall and the buoys that you see out there. Um, the water temperature is pretty warm. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Yeah, and the pools are similar to the ocean, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. So that's we're, true. we're traveling They say starts mid April on, so yeah. we've had really good weather. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning, and we're sitting at one of the larger beaches here at this resort. Uh, I'm not even sure how many beaches there are here. <laughs> uh, I'll put a number on the screen though. Uh, when you're walking along uh, sort of the shoreline uh, pathway, you can see all the different beaches here. This particular one. Uh, that I've been showing uh, imagery of is near the large pool. So I expect a little bit later in the day it's going to get a little bit noisy here. I do know that uh, the one that we went to yesterday where one of the two uh, jerk chicken shacks uh, is, that particular one, if you're facing the ocean, that beach is the furthest one from your left. Uh, and I think it's probably equivalent in size to this one, if not maybe even a little bit bigger. 
I know it seems like there's uh, more rows of chairs than that other one. Here, there's only two rows of chairs. Uh, but anyway, this is near, of course, uh, the majority of restaurants and whatnot, including the main buffet and the secondary buffet. Uh, convenient for lunch. I think a little bit uh, later this morning, 10 o'clock or so, there's a lady that comes by this resort with coconuts and uh, you can get a fresh coconut. Uh, she empties out a little bit or you can uh, take some of the coconut water out and she'll put some rum in it for you. I think it's five dollars per coconut. So we're gonna try and do that this morning. Beautiful day though. Seems like every day starts with beautiful weather, hardly any clouds, lots of sunshine, and then later in the afternoon, <laughs> darkness looms. But to be fair, yesterday it looked like it was going to rain all afternoon, and then it never did. So that's what you get almost anywhere in the Caribbean. It's kind of like that. Even when it rains, it's very, very short, maybe 15 minutes, and it blows by. Okay. Okay. The coconut man. He's located at the Grand Stadium on the Jamaica side. Right behind the kids' water park, we'll walk a little further down, you'll see the beer cut. He's usually there around 10 30, so not every day. Apparently, once the coconuts are there, they go quite quickly. One per person, and of course, you need to send them a tip. It's delicious. So, on your way back to your beach chair, make sure you top it up with some coconut rum at the main beach. Mm. That's the tip of the day. <laughs> Protein. Oh yeah, that's good. It's kind of like, it almost tastes like half coconut uh, water, I guess it is, right? Coconut water and half rum. Did you get white rum? White rum? I got coconut rum. Coconut rum and coconut water. Wow. Uh, And we just walked up from the beach. Very, very short walk. And this is our building. And if I spin around here a little bit, behind this hedge is the adult pool and bar. Very close.
they do have a salad bar up there and a dessert bar, so that part you're free to use. But uh, the main entree and drinks you have to order. And we're both going to get the fish tacos. So every day our fridge is, uh, our mini fridge is filled up with um, Sprite, Coke, Diet Coke, big chocolate bar, chips, peanuts, water, uh, did I say beer, beer, Red Stripe, and I think the other brand is called President or Presidente Beer. Yeah, look, the service has been pretty good here, but sometimes it's hit, hit or miss, but overall I would say the service was pretty good. If you enjoyed today's episode, please click the like button. And by subscribing and turning notifications on, you'll help us create new content. Thanks for watching. And remember, experiences, not things.